Wait, look, those colorful. Yeah, these are super colorful. All right, I'm here with little bro, and we're talking about the Nevada Jack Saloon. It says Nevada Jacks right here. And they are very much just a ceramic. We've already seen the skulls, if you remember. These totally destroyed our blender. Do you remember destroying our blender? Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. Either way, the Nevada Jacks are one, the blender, zero. So we're not going to do that again. But they have these saloon right here. And it says Nevada Jacks, made by the same company. You can go to the link in the Nevada description below. Jacks. Nevada Jacks, that's right. Nevada Jacks. Nevada Jacks. And I think we have Nevada Jack himself in studio. So let's uh, cut down and see what he has to say about these lovely saloon poker chips. No, no, Nevada Jack. Well, howdy. My name is Nevada Jack, and I got a thing or two to say about these here chips. This Wild Bill Hickok, not Nevada Jack. I'm Nevada Jack. Not the greatest man, but a good man, Wild Bill. Nevada Jack Saloon. These are my chips. Get these. All right, I don't know if that helped. He kind of has his opinion, it seems like, but not very intelligent. And the smell. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what about these chips? What do you think? I want all of them. You want to look at all of them? All right, well, let's spread them out and let's have a look. And here you go. This is what they look like. 25 cent. Uh, the denominations here with the dollars work because it's obviously an American theme running here. Nevada, Las, you know, Las Vegas, Nevada. We get it. All right, so dollars work wherever, even internationally because... You're going with this theme 25 cent this is a great place to start for cash games all the way up to 25,000 so you can do tournaments you can do cash games a very versatile set right here but i hear everybody asking well how does it compare to the nevada jack skulls and we'll talk about that in one second first i want to talk about durability um this is my bag of destroyed chips and if we go back down memory lane you will remember that these Nevada Jack chips have been through literally the blender. Okay, you can see this gouge right here, right here. There are a few little nicks on this Nevada Jack skull. You can see the chip right here with a blender. And you remember what happened to that blender? <laughs> yeah, it broke. So, <laughs> so uh, blender zero, Nevada Jack one. Okay, and this is Nevada Jack. These are obviously Nevada Jacks with an S, plural or possessive depending on how you read that so very durable you can see they're just white blanks they the quality is great they're easy to shuffle they're very consistent uh, as far as like a chip goes a ceramic chips these will do the job they feel like poker chips they look like poker chips done all right so enough about quality they're just just a good quality ceramic now let's go to design okay so comparing here at first it looks like oh look the colors will match here's the nevada jack skull but all of a sudden you're like 50 cent orange but the orange was re all right whatever the 500 chip hmm all right oh this is not the 500 chip <laughs> it's the 5000 so immediately you know some things are similar some things not so much and you look at the yellow you're like thousand no it's 500 all right I'll put that right there here's the 1000 it's white 25 dollar 100 and the five Okay, so that's kind of the comparison right there. Uh, my sample didn't come with a 25,000. I looked, I don't remember seeing a 25,000 in the skulls, but I might be mistaken. So there you have it. Quality all the way around. Um, from a design standpoint, my impression is, let's just zero some out here real quick. Uh, the impression that I get is this is a little too vulgar, right? You have an entry wound here and somebody's face, skull, cigar, Dead Man's Hand, Nevada Jack, pretty clear. Uh, that's pretty polarizing for a lot of people. And then you get to this. Now I know they both have the hand, the Dead Man's Hand, all right? Now, I don't, I'm never a huge fan of putting face cards on a poker chip. Can you imagine the reverse of that? Like if, poker, if face card manufacturers were like, I don't, this is, I don't know what even what this is. This happens to be convenient, just kicking around. If face cards were like, oh, well, these are poker cards, so we're going to put poker chips on the face card. You're just like, why? Go, 
come on. It's like, why would you put, and it's the same with this. I'm just like, why? All right, whatever. We have cards. If we're playing poker, we have cards. We don't need cards on the chip, but they're going with the theme. I get it. Okay. So not a huge fan of that, but this to me is the opposite. It's like, this is too vulgar, too much. And this is like, just kind of boring. It's just kind of bland. Nevada Jacks. Good. That's great. So I'm trying to think of a comparison. The first thing that comes to mind is ridiculous, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is it's like when you're trying to wax or clean up that area, you know, your private area down there. This is like using a blowtorch. Oh, singed, gone, done, taken care of, just too much, and you're going to be in the emergency room. And now this is just like using a dull rock. It's just like boring not sharp, not no point, just very safe. And just like I said, dull, a dull rock. They are kind of dull. Yeah, they have some bright colors. I like the colors. It's very playable. And for most people, this will, these will do the trick. You don't want something that necessarily as a poker chip that jumps out at you as like, look at me. You just want something that will let you focus on the game. You're gonna focus on the conversation. You're gonna focus on your cards. And you don't have to worry about the chips. Bright, easy to distinguish colors. There's no confusion, you know? They're just really well thought out. Color pattern right here. No confusion. Easy to read denominations. So they're just an poker chip. That's all they are. They're just a poker chip. They're nothing really exciting. Nothing really jumps out to me about these. So that said, let's move right along to the sound test. We're gonna compare it to some metal slug chips, maybe some Paulson's right here. And I feel like we should do something else. Uh, we already have Paulson's, we already have maybe a hybrid. Let's do this, these Ascona right here. All right, so. Let's try some of these, just see how they sound. This is a really quick sound test. Ceramics sound like a ceramic. These are actual casino chips. Paulson made. Top Hat and Cane. Monte Carlo. And some hybrids. So this is just a ceramic with a label. So a sticker label. And there you have it, uh, Nevada Jack Saloon. Not my favorite, but as far as poker chips go, it's hard to find anything wrong with them. They are really, really quite good at being poker chips. Thank you so much for watching. Nevada Jack.